Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the EVGA P67 for the Win motherboard. And we are going to take a quick look into EVGA's Elite Tuning Utility. It's based on the CPU ID program and as you can see, you have a quick overview of what your system is, you know, what it has, it has a, um, what processor it has and what core voltage is currently set at, as well as the current clock speed. As you can see, we have overclock settings here. As this is the overclock settings that I've uh, safely achieved using core voltage of 1.425. It's very stable. I ran OCCT for 10 hours uh, with no problems. I tried bumping it to a multiplier of 50 up, and up to a core voltage of 1.5, but it wouldn't. Uh, it failed OCCT after 15 minutes. And uh, so I decided to, I didn't want to push further than 1.5. Keep it safe at 1, 4, 24 7 overclock, uh, 1.425 volts, and 49 multiplier. Not very bad. It's a very good uh, uh, multiplier. It's a very good overclock reached at uh, close to 4.9 gigahertz. Uh, since the bus speed is running at 99.8, as you can see it's uh, slightly shy of 4.9 gigahertz, but it's still very high at uh, 4.889, 4 5 around that area, megahertz, uh, gigahertz. And uh, the rest of the Elite Tuning Utility, it's not just for monitoring these functions, it also has additional tabs and we are going to go over them one by one. The next tab is uh, Memory, see a quick view, since our bus speed was at 99.8 instead of the 100, our DRM frequency is lowered, it's supposed to be 800, is 798.3 MHz, and I am running on the a, a pair of Corsair Vengeance, 4GB uh, in total, Corsair Vengeance at 1600 MHz RAM. And uh, it's using an XMP profile, 99924, and the timing is at commander rate of 2T right below. So you can see all the, the, all the current information is in there for your memory. And the next tab is for monitoring your voltages, temperatures, and the fans. I only have the CPU plugged in because the rest of the fans inside the case are actually plugged into a 12 volt Molex connector. So, but if you have other, if you plugged in your case fans into the PC7 4 that we motherboard, you'll see it. In here in this page as for the CPU voltage you can see that 45 degrees Celsius dial overclocked and that is actually reflected on the uh, debug LED on board the P67 for the motherboard which has which doubles as a CPU temperature monitor you also see the VREG and system temperature here as well as each individual cores and the entire package uh, processor package itself I have the voltage settings there. As I mentioned, the CPU VCAR is 1.425. So the, you can also see the 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt, and uh, VCIO, DRAM, PCH voltage in this page. As for the next tab, it is the overclocking tab. Now this option won't be available. Uh, it is in, in, even though it's not grayed out, you can lower the turbo uh, of each core in this page if you don't have the setting turned on the UEFI setting. But if you do have it enabled, so you can you can go further than the whatever you have set in the BIOS. So I have it set at 49. You can crack it up here, and while of course doing this in conjunction with the voltage, you can increase the voltage in this tab as well. It goes up to 1.495, and leave it to that, and add voltage to. You can also set the DRAM voltage, VCCA, and all the other advanced voltage setting for an extreme overclocker. It needs to uh, get a little bit more from your overclock. And uh, you can also adjust your base clock here. And you can see at the top, the top, you can see the whenever you change this, the values and the base clock, for example, you can see the, and the your selection below it just reflects up here. So you can you don't need to do my manual calculation. You can just see it immediately. Of course, if you're not happy with that overclock, you can just hit restore here, restore to whatever is set in the BIOS. And if you if you're comfortable with your setting, you can just hit apply. And that's when you use the EVJ Elite Tuning Utility to overclock your system. And we will take a, look at, take a look at the voltages. Now the other tab is the mem graphics. Here, since we're not using EVGA graphics, you, the other options are grayed out, like this advanced option right here. You can see, uh, you can't set the vGPU. Uh, but you can see the, uh, I think there's some presets here for uh, 3D desktop and uh, for the clock speeds, depending on uh, what you want. That's pretty much the only option you can do on a reference GTX 580. As such that I have here and the next tab is the process tab where you can set affinities for each program and each one has an eight about eight banks you can save a hotkey to and select the process in there 
and set the affinity on the bottom area. And the final uh, tab is the validation page and a profile tab. Well, similar to the process tab, you can uh, actually save up to eight profiles in each one and recall it uh, by a hotkey. And uh, see the validation here, save validation page, you, you can submit your overclock for validation. And uh, that pretty much covers it. And uh, thanks for watching and let's go back to the rest of the EVGA P67 for the win motherboard review.